As students of the world, anywhere you go, there's going to be cultural differences. And that's part of the richness of experiencing the world and any other culture. Italy has an extremely deep culture. It's hard to find a deeper one. Everything here that you experience is part of your anthropological uh, learning. And I, even just walking into to a coffee shop and ordering a cup of coffee, paying at the right moment, waiting, observing, it's part of a long ritual that's long established. And many things like that, I think students who observe that and take part in it and learn how to navigate uh, another culture, they come away truly enriched. Uh, many of us spend our entire lives embedded in one culture, and I think that is, that's a shame. Um, I love Italy. I, I'm, I'm half Italian. I feel, feel at, at home here, and I, I hope to bring students into this culture and help them also to, to find the richness and the joy that, that I see here. Uh, it's, it's easy to find. Uh, we have uh, lunch delivered on site from one of the local restaurants here, always fresh products, cheese, tomatoes, uh, pasta, made in, in, the, in the restaurant. Uh, in the evening, we dine at different restaurants around the town, and it's a, it's a beautiful little community that's not too touristy. And that's another one of the things that I think benefits this project, is that we're located in a, in a town, Viterbo, and in a village, Barbarano Romano, where there aren't any tourists, really. A few, but nothing compared to the crowds that you find in Rome and Florence and Venice. So you really get a chance to experience the culture, rather than, than the facade that you sometimes encounter as a tourist that's hard to penetrate. You come straight in and the people welcome you with open arms.